Hi guys, time for another fragrance review. This time we'll be talking about Jill Sanders Scent 79 Man, part of the somewhat new Essential Collection. This fragrance came out in 2012 and it was created by Mark Buxton. Now, Mark Buxton has done a lot of scents for Comme de Garçon, so you may have smelled some of his creations. This is a bargain fragrance at the moment. The earlier release, which I think came out in 2009 of this same scent, uh, was significantly more expensive. I think for a 125 ml bottle they were looking for about $150. But this bottle now, it's a 50 ml bottle and you can get it for about uh, between $20 and $22 on uh, discount sites. So it's it's very affordable. It's it's more of a modern interpretation of a of a late 70s early 80s scent. You can probably classify in the the same sense as uh, Polo Green or Lowe's Porum Essentia. Uh, it's it's got a a very uh, old school feel to it, but it it doesn't feel as though it's dated. But it it has a retro um, vibe to it. When you first spray it on, you're going to get a, a, a very bitter, very sharp uh, bergamot and me, almost a little bit of lime in there and, and some artemisia, which, which gives it a, a, a green tone, very similar to the color of the bottle. Um, you can definitely get Mark Buxton's signature incense in the mid. And really that note dominates most of the composition, the, the, the incense, the artemisia, and the leather. There's a little bit of spice in there from the sage, but not a lot. I would probably compare this scent, like I said, to Ralph Lauren's Polo. It has the same birch tar leather feel to it, but without the, without the tobacco and without the, the uber strength. Um, you can. Pr I would say this is probably the closest to Aqua de Parma's Colonia Intensa. It has the same smoky, leather, woody, um, moderate performance, and it's it's really at a fraction of the cost. The only thing this is missing compared to Aqua de Parma's Colonia Intensa is the extra shot of smokiness. This Jill Sanders uh, Scent 79 is it's a little bit more leathery. It, it doesn't have the, the smokiness from the guayac wood going on and it intense as it's a little bit more woody. The performance on this Scent 79 it's good. Uh, it's it, I wouldn't go calling it a powerhouse masculine from the 80s um, it, you know, it's modeled after a 70 cent. It's, it's got a little more uh, modern touch to it. It's, it's much more wearable than, than either Polo or um, Lowe's Porum and uh, Ascenza. So I think it's definitely worth a look if, if you're into that, that retro genre. You're not going to smell stinky to anybody. You're, you're not going to smell dated. You're not going to smell like an old man. Um, but it certainly has a, a certain level of sophistication that a lot of the modern scents are missing now. It is a Cody brand fragrance, uh, but it doesn't have that that cheap Cody uh, layering to it like, like you see in some of the uh, the newer Calvin Kleins that are out. It doesn't smell uh, artificial or cheap. So give it a look. Let me know if you tried this one. It's it's really not on the radar anywhere that I can find uh, on YouTube or, or really on reviews anywhere. It's solid. Uh, it's worth. I would say it's worth the $20 for the 50 ml bottle, but you must like the retro feel fragrances, the undoubtedly masculine scents. It's not going to appeal to those that uh, they're in love with the soft uh, Dior Ohm or Dior Ohm Intense scents. This is definitely undoubtedly a man scent. And I could picture someone above the age of 35 or 40 
really enjoying this scent as a throwback to their youth, uh, back from the, the late 70s, early 80s. So comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for your time.